Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel and another one of these attempting to make songs because really that's the only thing that makes me happy these days. If you're new to this series, this is called Attempting To where I'm attempting a genre I'm not as familiar with but still hopefully giving you some good production tips. And today we attempt the ultimate crossover genre, Hard Wave. If you don't know what I mean by that, <laughs> you'll see. I mean, it's basically just in it patch the song. First, I set the BPM to 150. For the chord progression, I keep it trance-like, but not as complicated. So instead of like a 12 chord progression, I'm just gonna stick with three. But it's gonna be something uplifting and moody. So to do that, just sneak in some sus chords. Where I'm attempting a genre I'm not- You've heard of distro kid. Now get ready for distro. Vid. Being an independent artist is getting more and more viable these days, but what happens when you have a music video? How on earth are you going to upload it to YouTube without getting punished by the algorithm? Major labels are able to get around this through a network you might have heard called Vivo. But how the heck does a potato like me get onto Vivo? In the past, if you wanted to upload your video on there, you needed to have a special invite, either through a major label or by crossing your fingers, going viral and being a clout demon. But that's not you. You make your own success. And with DistroVid, that privilege is now available to you as an independent artist. And it's not just Vivo you can upload to. Amazon Music, Tidal, Apple Music, they all have video networks as well. And with you being in full control, you can keep it in 4K and customize your thumbnails. Just like DistroKid, you keep 100% of all the royalties and you can upload unlimited videos for only $99 a year. Give your music videos the push they deserve. Use DistroVid to get them onto Vivo. And all you need to get started is a DistroKid account. So sign up using my VIP link. And as always, thank you so much for sponsoring this video, DistroKid. And DistroVid, let's go. Next, I did this pluck melody. I'm gonna take that same pluck and move it to our first init patch, but high pass it so that it sounds more like trance. When the drums start to build up, double time. And if we're gonna keep with the trance vibe, can't forget the Reese. This just plays the root notes of the chord progression, but to keep it from sounding cheesy, the last note would usually go up for that uplifting feeling, but instead I octave it down so it's more moody. Now build into something epic with some choirs! But then take away all that epicness with the generic trance vocals. Maybe I'll add my own later. We'll see. Let me know if I should finish this song in the comments. For drums, we gotta use a thick, deep, thumpy kick, a trap snare, a few little uh, rim shots, and the laser. You know the one. Now, you might have noticed that Hardwave is giving a lot of trance vibes, but instead of the oots, oots, oots drums, we half time it. So the pattern looks like this with the kick and the snares like that, and uh, note all of the syncopated kicks. <laughs> Gotta have the brrrp. <laughs> Add in the trap hats and cymbals. For some interesting processing on the hats, I use a bunch of envelope followers to move around an erosion and vocoder on the release and the amount knobs for some extra movement. And gotta have that moody ambience too. And all together, the drums sound like. For the rest of the drop, those piano chords go on to the chaos saws. Except this time, I put a low pass filter on the chaos saws so that they're not as intense. Next, that ARP melody, the double time one goes on another serum in its preset. And if you're gonna be a music theory nerd about it, no, this is not an arpeggio. But in order to write this, I just set the time to 1 16th. I alternate between the root note of the song and I kind of just get higher with the notes on the scale. Then for some rhythmic variation, you add some of the little chromatic guys in there. And if the rhythm's still giving you trouble, just think of Mortal Kombat. Yeah. 
As for plugins, more envelope followers, and I map it to erosion comboed with OTT for extra noise, and a vocoder again to give it some movement, messing around with the release. Doesn't sound like it changes a lot, but when I add the envelope followers, it just gives it a little bit more dynamic. And then I use gate and duck to tighten up the rhythm. So when I turn these off, you can hear how it's super loose, but when I turn on the gate, and then duck on these settings. It just tightens everything way more. And we'll need that. Layer that with a harmony arp. I don't know if there's actually a proper harmony. <laughs> I made it in Serum. And I just used a wavetable and uh, gave it plus seven semitones to make it the fifth. Who knows if that actually works. Sounds good to me. Another thing I noticed is that hard wave doesn't exist without the big bass. So, same root notes. And have it hit every time the kick hits, but pause every time the snare hits. In the serum patch as well, I give the envelope a slight fall off so it feels like it's part of the kick and distorted it with corpus on kick tight plus OTT. Layered in a sub. Oh, hang on a second. That needs some spice. Nice. And if you notice, I lengthen it a little bit, so that even though the snare pause happens with the thick sub, the bass rolls off really nicely instead of ending abruptly. <laughs> Finally, using an EQ to cut out the mids of the sub, so that the thick bass and the sub bass can fit together nice and snug. There's also this really cool upper harmonic counter melody that I put on the angry flute. <laughs> You see, I find all these little pockets, too, to deactivate all the instruments to add some fills. You know, the one. And if you didn't notice the big sidechain I had on the entire time, let me show you what it sounds like without. Oh, no. Put it back. And all together from the beginning sounds like... Shout out to all the VIPs on Patreon. Y'all pay me to keep making videos like this. Uh, come say hey on Twitch sometime. I stream on there too. Say hello on the Discord. Uh, and let me know if you want me to attempt any more genres or other artists. That's gonna be it for me today. Now, go make some bangers.